All I've ever wanted was to be Superman. Growing up, I did what all kids do. I ran around wearing a cape. I dressed up for Halloween. I played with the action figures. I watched the movies and TV shows. But I also picked up on more important things. Superman defended the innocent. He fought for justice. He stood for what was good and right and true. He was an inspiration, a hero. If I was ever kind, generous, honest, or ethical, it was a no small part due to his influence. I was proud of it. And then identity started creeping into everything. I don't remember the first time I came across the idea that changing Superman's quote race could or should increase his popularity with people like me, but I instantly rejected it. Even as a kid, I resented the implication that we must physically resemble those we admire in order to identify with them. And I considered it an affront to my intellect. But the idea persists. And the most common reason people give is representation. Proponents argue that we need more characters to reflect our diverse multicultural America. And I fully agree. It speaks poorly of a society when its art and media doesn't reflect the vast ethnic and cultural diversity of its people. But we have to be careful not to operate under a shallow and tokenistic idea of diversity. Thinking that all we need to do is change the color of Superman's skin and we'll have done our job is to caricature those we're aiming to uplift. It comes off as lazy and lacking in creativity. And due to its superficiality, it flies in the face of true diversity and representation, which requires giving characters depth and nuance. What's more, Taking this tack also inadvertently places value on the despicable, divisive, and immiserating fiction of race, when what we really should be doing is working towards transcending it. As James Baldwin wrote, the value placed on the color of the skin is always and everywhere and forever a delusion. This is why the idea that Superman belongs to people racialized as white because he is drawn that way is nonsense. And it's why the idea that changing the color of his skin will make him belong to so-called people of color more than he already does is insulting, not only to my intellect and to yours, but also to our identities as multifaceted and multi-layered human beings. This obsessive reification and reinforcement of race precludes us from seeing the ways in which we are already alike, the ways in which we can already inspire and uplift one another, and the ways in which we can and do connect with other people, whether they're fictional or not. Transcendence is the answer. Racialization is not. There is so much to Superman as he is for anyone on earth to relate to. Superman's story is an immigrant story. It's an orphan story. It's an outsider story. He's a symbol for the ideals of America, a beacon of goodwill and an avatar for morality. Superman has been a source of joy and inspiration for countless people throughout his history. There is nothing wrong with how Superman looks, and there are no real problems in our world that changing it will solve. So when people say, does Superman have to be white? They're asking the wrong question. The right question is, do we have to see Superman as white? And the answer is no. Race is a fiction we need to reject. Superman is a fiction we need to embrace. The character has already successfully transcended petty racial, national, and cultural divisions for almost a century. But if we succumb to these superficial notions of representation, if we shoehorn our pet political narratives into the Superman framework, he ceases to be those things. Instead, he becomes a culture war cudgel, and we lose the essence of a character and a connection that I believe is truly precious. Superman already belongs to everyone. I wanna keep it that way. I've always known that I don't look like Superman, but there have been many instances where I've felt like him. Every time I've chosen compassion over condemnation, charity over cynicism, the high road over the low, I've been Superman. I couldn't have cared less that I lacked the spit curl or the square jaw in those moments and I certainly didn't care about the color of his or my skin. Every time I've done the right thing, Superman and I were the same in heart and spirit. 
That was the only similarity that ever truly mattered. And it's the only one that ever should. I'm Angel Eduardo. Join me in recognizing our common humanity at fairforall.org.